Business owners are always looking for ways to be strategic and efficient at the same time. And one way to accomplish this is through a quick and dirty analysis of the environment for a new product or a company's positioning called SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis takes a look at the internal and external positives and negatives and lays them out in an easy to analyze format, which can really be done on the back of a napkin. Despite its simplicity, SWOT analysis can bring a company's positioning into focus so that its owner can start to improve problem areas and make the most of what it excels at. To get started, let's just create a SWOT analysis chart. The SWOT analysis chart is nothing more than a two by two set of squares with positives and negatives across the top and internal and external along the side. As you can see, this layout creates the SWOT analysis box as follows. Strengths are internal positives, weaknesses are internal negatives, opportunities are external positives, and threats are external negatives. This diagram provides the structure, and now all you need to do is brainstorm to fill in the various boxes and analyze your company's position. Then, once you've filled in the boxes, you can develop strategies to improve your weaknesses, combat threats, and capitalize on strengths and opportunities. Let's go through an example to make sure that everything's clear. Suppose I sell ice cream from a cart on the beach. A strength or internal positive may be that I have a patented cooler cart that can hold way more ice cream than any of my competitors. So that means I have to make fewer trips to restock and I can spend more time selling to customers on the beach. However, a weakness or internal negative may be that I only have one ice cream supplier. So I have less variety than my competitors and I have less control over pricing. An opportunity or external positive could be that the city is hiring more lifeguards and opening up an extra mile of beach to the public. So there will be more beachgoers allowed at the beach each day, which means more potential customers for me. And finally, a threat or external negative could be that experts are predicting a particularly rainy summer, which could close the beach more often. If you were to really perform a SWOT analysis, you would come up with many more strengths, more weaknesses, more opportunities, and more threats than I have here. But this is just to help make sure that you understand the process. Now that we've identified the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, it's time that we react to them. Because there will be more people on the beaches this summer and I have that patented cart that can carry more ice cream than anyone else, I should make sure to keep that cart fully stocked to take the most advantage of my ability to stay on the beach longer. On the flip side, I should come up with a contingency plan for if it does rain a lot and the beaches are closed. Perhaps there's a covered boardwalk or indoor activity area where I could sell on rainy days. Planning ahead and getting permits in advance will prevent me from missing days of sales in the future. By the same token, I should take steps to eliminate my one supplier weakness by identifying and forming relationships with other suppliers to increase the variety of my offerings and to provide a seamless backup plan should the first buyer get too expensive or go out of business. Now, this is just one simple example, but the SWOT analysis technique is applicable to all sorts of businesses and all sorts of business decisions. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your company grow, as well as the latest entrepreneurship news.